Some people say, oh, you don't take the scriptures on suffering. Why do I have to? Because it is not from God. It comes against me. Why wouldn't we talk about the God who is so good to us, who is all loving to us? Well, God doesn't intend for you to suffer. Persecution comes from the world. If you didn't know, why does persecution come? People have a question about why don't we talk so much about persecution and sufferings, which brings glory and honor to God. Let me show you the scripture from the book of Mark 4. It says in verse 17, where it's talking about the seed, which is the word of God, the seed that is sown on four different soils. The first one was on the wayside and the second one on a rocky and the third was among thorns. The fourth one was on good ground. I just want to read verse 16 and 17. And these are they likewise, which are sown on stony ground, who when they have heard the word immediately receive it with gladness and have no root in themselves, and so endure but for a time. Afterward, when affliction or persecution ariseth, for the word's sake, immediately they are offended. See how the word immediately is mentioned twice in these two verses? When they heard the word immediately with gladness, they received the word. But then we find the second time immediately they get offended. So if you're the kind of person who has heard the word immediately and then you have never taken time to let it be rooted in your heart to the extent where you are able to handle persecution and afflictions that ariseth. It didn't say it comes from above. It says it arises from the earth. So persecution, afflictions, sorrows, troubles, don't come from heaven. They arise from around us. Satan, the arch enemy of God, is an enemy to you. He uses people. He uses all kinds of circumstances to make you feel so offended that when you are offended and when you stumble, you say, I don't have nothing to do with this. I'm so upset about this. I don't want to. I mean, if you're a spiritual person, you know that you will have certain situations that will arise mm -hmm. against you because of the word's sake, because you have the word of God in your heart. Mm -hmm. Because the word of God is God's seed, which is designed to produce after its own kind. Yes. The more word you have, the more spiritual insight you have. Number one, you have faith. Number two, you have desires coming into you. Number three, you begin to see the will of God. Number four, you begin to see their promises of God. There's so much that the word wants to accomplish in your life. 